Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video with this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the GeForce GTX 660, the GeForce GTX 760, also 2GB model, the GeForce GTX 960, 2GB model and finally the GeForce GTX 1060, 6GB model in Call of Duty Warzone. Let's get to it, shall we? Alright, desktop time, GeForce GTX 660 is installed with the latest NVIDIA drive available to it since this is a Kepler GPU it doesn't support the latest drivers unfortunately so these are the 472.98 it's not overclocked but this is the Gigabyte OC model of the card so it comes already overclocked out of the box we can see all of its specs here in Tech PowerUp's GPU Z 2 Gigabyte GDDR5 as I told you and we got 960 CUDA cores it released back in 2012 and over on the left we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 5900X 32 gigabytes of RAM which are unrealistic specs but we only want to test the GPU, so we don't want to bottleneck any of these GPUs. Let's go over the settings first. We're playing at the 720p resolution using the lowest settings possible, and yet we are still seeing VRAM usage going over the maximum, unfortunately. Okay, we just dropped in, guys, and I started counting the FPS. It is pretty rough around here because of the water. Water is actually super intensive in this game. It's kind of broken, I guess. Uh, but yeah, sometimes when you are near it, it drops immensely. It is in the 30s most of the time, I guess. It might still drop from 30, which is kind of bad. You know, you don't want that in Warzone because a lot of people are competitive in this game and if you want to do something against them and be competitive yourself, of course, you really want uh, 60 frames per second, for example. It's interesting that, like, the Intel XE graphics did better than this. I think it was getting FPS in the 40s in Warzone and that's very impressive for uh, integrated graphics, of course. Same goes for like the Vega 8. So we just walked around the capital area for a little bit. We got 36 FPS average. At least the FPS don't seem to be dropping from 30. And it's also not stuttering a lot. So that that's something there. You know, you, it's playable. You tend to get around the same... What happened? Also, I don't recommend the 800 by 600 resolution because you can't really see anything properly. And uh, yeah, I, at least 720p is playable here so far. So this area seems to perform pretty well, getting FPS into the 50s, closer to, to 60 at times, which is insane. But looking back, you get those 30s once again, rendering the entire map. That's obviously intensive. I'm hearing shots finally, so we're approaching people. I can't really go there, okay. All right. So, probably gonna die instantly when I spot someone. Oh, there's a guy there. Ah, one down. And we... Oh, we are so close to the, the guys that are winning this. Alright. Almost got him there. Uh, let's just put on some uh, stopping bullet power. Oh, every time I reload this, it goes to to the selection screen. That That's really weird. Another interesting bug here in Warzone. They're always... Uh, introducing the, these very interesting Enemy things. Okay, so they're, they're, they're just putting out the UAV and stuff. Okay, that one is down. And that's another one there. Yep, come on. Alright, got them both. But there was a guy up there, so I'm a little bit scared still. Okay, yeah, there, there's one guy still. Oh, get wrecked, boy! There we go. See, guys, it's playable with the 660. You just gotta get used to it, and at this point I am used to playing games at uh, 30 FPS, so I, I guess I can do something. I'm gonna try to go. You know, I, I don't even care. Let's go! Oh, I almost died there! Come on! <laughs> that was so close. Alright, I want to go to the 760 anyway, so that's it. Playable results. I still had fun there, even with a, a, a 10 year old GPU like the 660, which is insane. Yeah, it can play this game. No graphical bugs as well, even though we're using outdated drivers. And the GeForce GTX 760 is now installed, running the latest NVIDIA drivers available to it. 472.98, same ones as the GTX 660, because this one is also a Kepler GPU. You can check out all of its specs here once again. So we got a little bump up in the shaders department with 1152, 11, <laughs> 1152 CUDA cores, still 2GB of GDDR5. And uh, yeah, it released back in 20. 2013. All right, so we're actually utilizing the same settings as the 660, 720p using the lowest settings once again. All right, so we are here. We arrived at the same area as we dropped with the GTX 660, and it's 
It's really similar, guys. It's exactly the same experience, basically. We might be getting like two or three more FPS sometimes, but it is not noticeable whatsoever. And I'd still uh, lock it to uh, 30 FPS, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna reload this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, once upon a time, every time I changed the resolution, the game would be stuck in that screen and I would need to restart it. Uh, now it's when you reload with the stopping power bullets, basically, that that happens and at least it doesn't crash and I don't have to restart it. So, but yeah, how are they always introducing these little bugs into the game? It's, it's beyond me sometimes. All right, anyways, so around the capital area of this map, we are seeing... The same thing as before, basically. Again, same architecture. Basically, the differences now will be due to those extra CUDA cores on the GTX 760. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, power utilization is also a little bit higher, like, what, 15 watts higher than the 660 as well. So it's basically the same thing, guys. I would still lock it to 30 frames per second because uh, it will be a much uh, more manageable experience in terms of you getting used to it of course building up some muscle memory and stuff the good thing is at least we know that this is going to be playable as it was playable with the gtx 660 i could still have a lot of fun with that and you can still have a lot of fun with this just don't try to play this very competitively because yeah you really do need 60 fps for that all right back on top of the peak area of the map and uh, as you can see looking down we are seeing 30s yeah not bad not great again it's playable you can enjoy the game like this for sure sometimes it drops into the lower 30s but it, it's it's fine and with the gtx 960 we can finally utilize the latest nvidia drivers 512.59 this is a maxwell gpu from the 900 series obviously so it still does support the latest drivers it's from 2015 it has two gigabytes of gddr5 as i told you 1024 cuda cores and that's about it it comes overclocked out of the box this model by the way it's the gaming oc from uh, the, the msi yes all right let's go over the settings and just for a bit of a comparison i'm starting it off at the uh, 724p resolution which is almost the same as 720p it just doesn't really accept 720p here in the resolution scaling and over on the quality settings everything is still the same lowest settings possible here let's see the water effects here 70s Okay, dropping slightly here, 50s, 40s. Yeah, it is not bad, but it's still not 60 FPS. These were the FPS that I was expecting from 1080p resolution, honestly. And this is this is 720p, basically. Yeah, kind of bad coming from the 960. Ah, all right, let, let's, let's, come on, please. <laughs> A lot of people dropped here in the capital area this time, so it might also contribute to lower our FPS a little bit, but that's more CPU intensive, you know, more people around here. So uh, yeah, it shouldn't really mess with our results too much. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, 50 FPS is definitely a heck of a lot better than what we've seen so far, damn it. That's like missed everything there camping bastard this is the problem when a lot of people drop around here they just camp wait 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 there we go come on no you okay there we go we got the camping bastard here. <laughs> oh man they just stay in the rooftops or on the rooftops yes uh, dropping into the 30s now that is very unfortunate no no i'm one hp i am one hp dude come on we need to go we need to go stay here maybe I'm hearing Any steps. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe we can go. Oh, that guy just died. He, he dropped and died, I think. <laughs> well, I'm not going to make fun of that because Any I did exactly nearby. the same thing previously. Yep. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah, guys. Again, I was expecting a lot better coming from the 960. I guess it's because of the Warzone optimization. They're always breaking the game's performance more and more with every update. So now it's to the point where the GTX 960 is not enough for even 60 FPS on average. Um, at 720p. Moving up to 1080p, still using the lowest settings, of course. And let's see, getting 40s and 30s around here. So these are the FPS that we got with the 660 and 760, basically, uh, at 720p. And now we're getting them at 1080p. There is not much scaling 
between resolutions, I guess, uh, here in Warzone these days. Right, let's go, let's try to get this one. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I forgot that I'm playing against squads. Oh, boy! Okay, this is very hard to control. Dropping into the 20s at times. Higher 20s, though. So, a little bit of an overclock on the 960 will do the job. Uh, to stay above 30 all of the time here at 1080p. Uh, this GPU can easily go to, like, 1500 megahertz. So, uh, it will definitely be good for 30 plus at this resolution. Still a bit of a shame, though. I wonder how the 1060 will do. Because when the game came out, I remember getting around, like, 110 or 120 FPS fps with the 1060 at 1080p low settings and we will be far from those numbers this time uh oh there is it oh what the hell okay can we actually do this no this is only for oh i thought that was like a stinger or something all right come on come on come on come on all right strike vehicle the guy is still there though can we get him let's throw a grenade there anyways uh as you can see, getting 30s, looking at this uh, building here. Not really that intensive. Uh, come on. Where? Hostile oh, there he is. The there he is. Found him. Ah, uh, kind of hard to control, but we got him. Good stuff. And there is a chopper there. Low ammo. We gotta use these topic power bullets now. And there we go. <laughs> no! No, no, okay. I'm just gonna re armor up or whatever. Yeah, there he is. No, oh, down him. Good. Where are the others? Where are the others? Come on, you little bastard. You're dead now. Haha. <laughs> Thank you for the bullets, by the way. Oh, they're still here. Ah. All right, 43 FPS average, 1080p. It's not bad by any means. And we got a lot more action going on in this run, so it's okay. Just want to show you this, guys. This is an empty capital. Only that guy dropped with me, by the way, and it's still getting around the same FPS. So we're getting 36 FPS, and if I enable the cache options, by the way, which are these two right here, uh, these will actually utilize more memory, so that's why I have been disabling them with the 2 gigabyte cards in this video. Uh, you get, like, two more FPS basically but it does stutter a little bit more probably because of the vram limitations it it delivers pretty much the same experience though finally geforce gtx 1060 6 gigabyte model 512.59 drivers the latest from nvidia once again actually they just released another driver right now as i am recording this and as i installed the 1060 <laughs> uh, but it's only for evil dead so it doesn't really matter nothing should change in warzone anyways uh, you can check out all of its specs once again pascal GPU from 2016, huge performance jump coming from the 960 by the way, 1280 CUDA cores, 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 and uh, let's go! And now just to compare it a little bit with the 960, 1080p resolution, lowest settings once again, these two are enabled now because we do have a lot of VRAM, this is such a better experience, this is finally a competitive one, uh, above 60 FPS pretty much at all times, maybe, it might still drop though, which is very unfortunate to see on a 1060 as you can see here this area just for comparison again uh, getting 70s 80s at times not bad looking at the capital area there let's just reload this and drop our 1% lows because yep it, it's gonna stutter a bit <laughs> Uh, yeah, they will smooth out though, don't you worry, alright? You know what guys, for, for a 1080p low settings experience in this game, I think the 1066 gigabyte might be the perfect Hostile card for it. The Where is the bastard? The Where sky? is the bastard camping yet? God damn it, okay, let's go. Ooh, he's watching me. He's watching me from behind. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh, trying to shoot me with a sniper rifle. Let's get away from here. Oh, okay, we're good though. Driver, how come that doesn't break? What the hell? These break? No, these don't break. These... I, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Okay, we got the kill. Kind of. <laughs> there, yes, 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 yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go this way now. Oh, they're actually hunting for me. Great stuff. 
yeah, still hasn't dropped. It feels really smooth. Zero stutters, guys. Uh, the VRAM is not maxed out. It's at 4.3 gigabytes, though. So the 3 gig version of this card might stutter a little bit using the same settings, or it might be a, a, a lot slower. Considering that we are in the capital area, it is performing pretty damn well, guys. 1060. It's, it's Again, it's a shame that it doesn't get 100 FPS on average anymore, and it used to. But hey, this map at least looks better, and it's still pretty damn smooth and competitive in my opinion. Also, I'm not testing the RTX stuff today, the 2060 and the 3060, because I don't have those cards. They, they are very expensive these days. I'm still waiting for them to drop in price. So uh, th this, is, this is what we're working with. GTX cards today, all right, in Warzone. So up here, getting 69 FPS, very nice and beautiful. Let's go down there because someone is looking at us. Okay, <laughs> I was just gonna go, bye, buddy. No, please, okay, he's missing everything at least. There are more looking at me from that direction. Oh boy, okay. At least it doesn't drop even looking at the entire map. That's great. What the, okay. <laughs> We're good. The guy's still there camping. Damn it, guys. There are so many campers in this game. It's so annoying. Is he shooting at me? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, there was another one. Oh. So streaming quality, let's set that to normal. Texture resolution, we can use normal, but not high. High goes over the VRAM limits. This one, we can set it to high. It doesn't really affect FPS, by the way. This one, high as well. Yes, let's enable that. Tessellation, eh, not really needed. Let's set it to near. I'm disabling this because, well, YouTube. <laughs> let's set this to high quality. That doesn't impact FPS a lot. And honestly, I wouldn't really utilize anti-aliasing in this game because it looks cleaner, but let's use T2X SMAA here. Uh, and over down here, shadow map resolution. I think we can go with like normal for a 1060. That should be good. Particle lighting, normal as well. Ray tracing, uh, yeah, don't, don't use that with the 1060 here. Let's use some um, ambient occlusion on static objects. And I want the screen space reflections on high because they look beautiful. So let's apply that. I'm just gonna restart to make sure everything applied properly. It's looking way better right now, but it does drop from 60 FPS into the 50s at times. Still a way better experience than like a 960, for example way smoother than 1080p low on that card. It doesn't really drop that much, like into the 40s, especially not into the 30s, so it's all right. A lot of people could still enjoy this game like this, for sure. I guess we're in for a 60 FPS average, guys. There are some people around here. I can hear them. Whoa, that's a bit messy. Where are the others? Where are the others? Uh, wait a second. I hear them. They're above us, I think. Let's try to see them here. There he is. Come on. Oh my god, I was shooting his head. How did he not die instantly? Well, I also didn't have all of the armor, so... Anyways, while dropping there, it, it dropped into the 40s. 50 there. Again, not bad. I, I could still enjoy the game like this, honestly. Very, very nice. Uh, it's just not 60 FPS, so if you want to play it competitively, once again, you will need those 60 and uh, this is just not it. At least you got the option to play on low if you want those 60. So yeah, it's okay. It is okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Ah. <laughs> oh, well, at least we get to see all of the capital city uh, at once. It does drop a little bit there. Seriously. Him. Oh, he's dead now. Okay. All right, there's one here. Enemy no, I can't, oh, can't shoot the bazooka in time. It takes so long. Good thing is, when you're fighting campers on rooftops, uh, you're looking up and you're gonna get more FPS. <laughs> All right, he's gonna kill me for sure. There's one behind me. Look at him. Oh, he died. Hello there, Enemy kind camper. Nearby. I'm just gonna kill you. Thank you. Get wrecked and get teabagged. I don't care about you. Come on! All right. All right. It's a little bit messy sometimes. Uh, they, take a, they take a lot of beating to die, you know? Let's go. I hit him. Didn't die, though. Yeah! What are you doing? Okay, okay. He's dead. He's dead. 
dead. Dropped slightly there. I could feel it. He's here, right? Yes. <laughs> I was hearing him. <laughs> All right, another one down. As you can see, it's, it's still very nice and playable for sure. It's just not 60 FPS. No camping. Okay. I guess that's been it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed the video, of course, I will hopefully catch you in the next one. As always, stay crispy and stay safe. I love you all. Bye-bye.